Hi, rainy day today. I'd like to say thank you to all the people who commented on my video and particularly those who, who shared it. That was great, thank you. Um, one of the people who commented said that I ought to define two words that I use, which are iatrogenic and idiopathic. So I'm gonna do that. Iatrogenic means the medical, the medical establishment did it to you. For instance, you got your first amalgam fillings when you're eight years old and those fillings expanded and contracted and broke your teeth and you wound up at 55 with a mouthful of amalgams and crowns and root canals and bridges and so forth. So that mess in your mouth is iatrogenic because it was caused by your lousy dental work. And then your amalgam fillings continue to off-gas and you absorb that mercury. And so when you're 75, you start to get dementia. And your dementia would be considered iatrogenic because it was caused by your shocking dental work. Um, I'm not even gonna go into iatrogenic uh, illnesses in children because I don't wanna get canceled. Um, idiopathic means nobody knows what causes it. There are a lot of idiopathic illnesses out, of, out there right now, particularly chronic illnesses. Uh, on the front cover of his book, Hair Test Interpretation, Andy Cutler lists a whole bunch of things that he considered to be related to mercury poisoning. And most of these are idiopathic. And they are pervasive de de developmental disorder, Lou Gehrig's disease, learning disabilities, depression, allergies, autism, ADHD, colitis, anxiety, obesity, diabetes, insomnia, infertility, birth defects, fibromyalgia, schizophrenia, chronic fatigue, attention deficit, hypothyroidism, vision problems, interstitial cystitis, mental retardation, multiple sclerosis, adrenal exhaustion, Parkinson's disease, chemical sensitivity, lupus, irritable bowel syndrome, and bipolar disorder. My next video is going to be about anger and how I've learned to relate to it and how I think you probably should too.